Steve, one one word that comes to mind, clinicality. Yeah, I just used it. Um, I think I, I said pre-match and I said last evening on television that the clinicality of Porsche is what separates them from a lot of teams in this league. And I think we've seen it. I think what I also go home thinking is, yes, they've proven to be clinical. They did it the Lamex early in the season. But I do go away looking at the 31st minute. And there's a clear and obvious handball in their box when he punches it off the head of our uh, player who's going to head it into an empty net. And, uh, and he gives a goal kick. Um, but from what my players have told me, two senior players have told me, the referee walks off the pitch and says, I know I've made a big error in the first half. Is he allowed to get messages at half-time? I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody told him. Maybe somebody rang him. I don't know. I'm not privileged to that. But it's a real concern if it does. If he says, I know I've made a big error in the first half. But we'll get a letter. We'll get an email of an apology. But let me say it. The best team lost tonight, I think, in general play with a better team. We didn't have the clinicality that, that they have. Um, but they're a wonderful team when you watch them when they get into flow. And I certainly wish them every success in the, the last remaining games they've got. I want this football club to be in the championship. But I always want to win more than that tonight. You certainly created the chances, didn't you? But uh, just weren't able to convert them. So only two goals now in five <coughs> games. Is, is it a problem? Well, it's always a problem if you're not scoring a goal, isn't it? I, I just think goals come in, they come in spells and they come in scenarios. I think even when we're at 3-0, we all accept the game's dead and buried a little bit, but then we make it 3-1. We've a wonderful one, the best chance of the game to make it 3-2. We what, four or five minutes of the game left, plus added time. I think we, I'm not going to say what I think if we are going to equalise, but it would have been a different last 10 minutes. Um, and we didn't take the chance, so we were not going to give ourselves that opportunity. But I think the balance of the game changes. Mm. We don't get a penalty, they get one. And I'm not disputing that there's a penalty. Kind of knock, knock the stuffing out your side for a, for a while. I don't think he did second half. I think for long spells we're the better team. Um, you can see I'm, I'm obviously up above, but... You know, Darren Ferguson gets the boy Adjibo, who's an out and out right winger, to be playing right back, watch Mark and McDonald for the last ten minutes. Um I think they know, I think Darren knows we've got a second, but we didn't. Listen, they've they, I read Darren's words pre match. Um a bit at this stage of the season it's about accumulation of points and winning games. And they've done it. So we'll congratulate them. We're hot tonight and we'll freshen the boys up and go again at Alamex on Saturday. You rang the changes before the game. You must have been happy with how it, it went. Was, well I've you know, I had the opportunity to watch Porsche a couple of times. Tactically, we got it right tonight. Don't worry about that. We got it absolutely spot on. They didn't have a clue what we're doing. They didn't have a clue. We knew, I knew the team in the shape almost when I left here when they played Northampton last week. You asked Fergie about that Northampton game and then ask him about this game. I think you'll say one could have been 12-1 and one he's fortunate to get three points. But we've still lost. We still have the playoffs. Somebody that said to me in St Patrick's Day two years ago, You'd be nine games to go in League One and you'd be holding a playoff place. <laughs> you, you'd have gone to bed and you'd have think you'd get more chance of winning a lottery. So we're still there and we're going to try and still be there on Saturday night when we when we leave the Lamex. And that's going to be tough because Leighton Orient have been in brilliant run of form under Richie. Thanks, Steve.